show from Carbide Processors. Wanted to show you how to do some brazing today. Now we always get tons of questions on how to braze, especially the do-it-yourselfers. Um, they want to uh, start doing these things on their own. They're not quite sure where to start, how hot um, the uh, carbide needs, needs to get with the braze, um, what color does it need to turn, um, when too much is too much. So I thought I would just do a quick video. So you see here, I've, I've got my tools here. I've got my distilled water. I have a tub of our purified flux. I have a cup here, just a coffee cup with some water. So I can throw my tools in here so they'll get cleaned up um, as I need. Um, long nose tweezers. I'm gonna use these to move our carbide, carbide part. I'm just doing a regular saw tip today. So you can think of this also as uh, like our thumbnails or stump grinding teeth that are already pre tin that we sell. So this is a great opportunity for you to see how it's done to make that easier for you. So um, I was actually already working earlier this morning doing some bracing. Um, so you see I've already have some uh, flux mix. So I'll just show you how I do it. Um, you want to take, I'm just doing the one piece. I don't need a lot of flux. I'll just show you how we get to that consistency. I just put it here on my palette. I have my distilled water and it's pretty chunky, so what I'm gonna do is wet it. I need it to be really loose, loose enough to put on that carbide piece on the pre tin side. pre tin is, uh, is just silver solder. Um, I have 50% 50, 50 silver on this carbide tip. So I'm just moving it around, I'm chopping it up, playing with it, getting it nice and wet. So depending on how many uh, pieces you're going to braise, you just uh, adjust the amount of flux accordingly. So this looks about right, almost the consistency of pudding maybe, or um, toothpaste maybe. Okay, so I'm going to use my paintbrush, it's just a small standard paintbrush, got it at the dollar store, doesn't have to be fancy, just need something to transfer the flux directly on the carbide tip. You see I'm just patting it right down here. It's nice and covered. That's a fair amount. It doesn't have to be um, overly thick. That's just a fair amount. Now if you come over here, so we're going to do induction heating and you see I've cheated just a little bit. I have a steel bar right here. It's hot, ready to go. You see the colors that, that cherry red, so you know that's super, super hot. So we're definitely not going to be touching that. So I'm going to move it out here. I'm going to take this saw tooth, this pre tin saw tooth, pre tin side down, adjust it where I want it, and we're going to put it right underneath. Now you're going to see that flux bubbling and popping out. It's going to take just a moment. that the, the flux is already burning away, bubbling. You're going to see movement in the carbide tooth. It's not going to take too much. See that the color is already starting to turn. I don't know if you can see on the camera well enough, but the silver solder is going to get super hot. It's starting to melt now. See, I moved it a little bit so you can see that it's already starting to melt. I'm going to take my piece out. This is a great opportunity while it's hot. See, I'm moving it so you can see the silver solder. It's nice and hot. Say I have it positioned exactly where I want it, maybe on my saw blade. It's going to take about 30 minutes or so for this to fully cool down. But if I wanted to try to move it now, you can see it's already adhered. So it's nice and braised. So the longer it sits, the harder um, it will get. And that is how you braise. So definitely be super careful. Make sure you have something. I use the long nose tweezers. Uh, we also have um, the uh, uh, pushers that we sell here where you can push the pieces around. Like I said, this is induction heating. We'll do a, a video later on on propane because I know that's mostly what is being used. 
and you can see that it didn't take a lot of flex. Just a little bit of time. Of course, I cheated though because my steel bar was hot. Um, if you're adding a pro, if you're doing a propane torch to it, take just a little bit to heat it to get it to a hot enough heat for the braise to start to melt and adhere to uh, whatever it is you're braising um, too. So there we go. So feel free to post any questions or comments. Um, if you have any questions about the flux, um, the type of silver solder we use um, for pre-tinning, um, feel free to post those in the comments below. Thanks so much.